issues last year with the runoff election being so so quick after the regular like right have you sort of statewide made any changes to no we were just that? we just were really clear with, with uh, the general assembly we think that if you if you poll and ask voters what they think that they're, they're ready for runoffs to be done you know and not have them so how do we do that what does that look like and if you ask the election workers uh, majority large majority of them would like to see us eliminate runoffs so what does that look like in the general assembly it's kind of talked about it last session. I'm probably sure they'll talk about it next session. Because when you have your race in November, you're always going to have some races that you worry, where you have a runoff. It could be a state rep, state senator, or it could be a, a you know a statewide seat. And then you have then rolling right into Thanksgiving, and then all the work that they have to do to certify it, it just ends up to being an awful lot. But the counties will, will get it done one way or the other. But it's one of the things that I think maybe the time has come to look at eliminating runoffs. And Secretary, what was the reasoning behind today's visit? Just to, uh, the chamber has uh, asked me to come down, talk about like a legislative update. But while I'm here, obviously I want to drop by and see all the people that do the hard work of making sure we run honest and fair elections. And this is a great facility. Y'all have a lot to be proud of. Can you talk to me about what you're looking to reform next in Georgia? What do you want in place before the 2024 presidential election? I think we're in pretty good shape uh, legislatively. And, and really, this last session was pretty much does it for uh, the next cycle. Because when you come into the next session, it'll be 2024. And to get something passed and in, in place, I think it uh, probably won't happen next year. So it's really every other year when you can look at any kind of modifications, updates further improvements in state law. So we're really excited that what we did get in place was we got funding for additional electronic poll pads. So that is really uh, speeding up the, the process of checking in voters. We had last session, the county, last, uh, last election, when we had those in place for the counties that already had them in place, we were getting reports that we were checking in voters in under a minute. Mm -hmm. And so that just really helps accelerate and keep those lines short. And that's really, improves the voter experience. So we're very voter centric. Also, you now get time off work for early voting. And we think that's really important. Right now we're seeing about 65% of all Georgians are voting early. And so whatever we can do to help, you know, voters, you know, get time off so that they can vote, that, that was a bill that we wanted to support also. So we think we're in good shape for 2024. We're expecting big, very big uh, turnout numbers next year. And so when we see facilities like this, we're really excited that uh, we think that we'll be able to handle whatever is thrown our way. They put a lot of effort into transparency in this yep. building. How important do you think that is moving forward to sort of combat all the rumors and, and conspiracy theories? I think uh, whenever you can have a, additional glass and transparency, whatever, going through the process, I think it just gives voters that they can ask a question and they get it answered, so it's very transparent. Because I think what we've shown is that, you know, we're gonna have an accurate results and that many people will be disappointed with that and that other people will be happy. And we don't know how that's gonna go. If we look at uh, Governor Kemp and I were reelected with really strong margins and obviously Republicans were very happy and maybe the other side wasn't. Uh, and then likewise in 2020, it was cut the other way. And so we want people to have an understand that we have uh, and that's why we are actually, you know, the leader in election integrity throughout the entire country. We're ranked at the top of the ranks, number one for the cleanest voter rolls, but also we have honest and fair elections. I have a personal question too. Why did you decide you wanted to be Secretary of State? <laughs> well, I'm an engineer, uh, also a business owner, and really when you look at the Office of Secretary of State, first of all, we wanted to get new voting machines, and I think it's really important that we have something with a verifiable paper ballot so we can audit any race, so that's what we have now. And so it is really doing something, and engineers like to do things and uh, set goals and accomplish those, so we did that. But also, since I'm a licensed structural engineer, licensed civil engineer, also a licensed general contractor, licensing reform, and that's why we, this past Monday we formed a commission, the Georgia Works uh, and, election, and um, Licensing Reform Commission, because we license a lot of things, and can we reform that process to really speed it up so we're not you know, putting in impediments for people to enjoy their profession? So that's one of the things in the securities and charities, making sure that whenever people give money to a charity, it truly is a charity and it's not a scam. And so we've uh, strengthened a lot of that and we're really grateful for the work of our securities division.
but really focusing on making sure that those were honest charities, making sure that the money gets out to the mission field. Secretary, regarding the Fulton County Grand Jury, have you been uh, contacted by federal investigators in the last several weeks or months at all further? No, I think that right now uh, those things are processes that are going on and they don't tell us what they're going to do and, you know, all that. We'll just wait and see like, like you in the press. And I've got to ask, Trump was on a CNN town hall. He once again denied that he called you asking for votes despite the reported phone call. And he's also still being critical of Georgia's election. What's your reaction to that? Well, I basically said at every point that he raised, uh, we've disproven it. But he said in his phone call that there was 5,000 dead people and they actually litigated and sued us. They said there's 10,315 and we found a total of four. He actually paid for a report and the company's called the Berkeley Research uh, Report. Uh, that company, when they did their report, paid 600,000, it's reported. Uh, they said that there's probably like 25 to 50 dead people. So four, 25, well, our number's right, but no one was ever talking about thousands of people. They said there's 66,000 underage voters, there were zero. Every single allegation that was ever raised proved to be false. And what it really did is, unfortunately, it started tearing apart our social fabric. And I think what really it gets down to at the end of the day, what people are looking for, they're looking for integrity. Because I think integrity matters, it counts, and it also works. Uh, I think we just saw that up in Kentucky. Kentucky Secretary of State Michael Adams was just uh, one with 65% because he pushed back on some of the fraud and some of the myths that were raised there. And I appreciate his courage. So there's, there's a group of us that are pushing back because we know that integrity does count. And integrity always will work because most people are good. Most Americans have integrity, and they're looking for someone that mirrors their values. And that's why I'm really excited about what I see in Coweta County and what I see throughout the counties, but also at the state level. We get the job done. Now, if you want to fuss about Washington, D.C., uh, <laughs> I might join you on that fussing. But here, we actually accomplish it. We balance our budget. We could do it all in a 40-day session. And here in the Secretary of State's office, we've made a lot of improvements over the last four years, and we'll continue to look at how do we improve the lives of our fellow Georgians.